Assalamu alaikum everyone. I hope you're all doing great, healthy and safe wherever you are. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be taking you through this beautiful calligraphy painting with the phrase Alhamdulillah written on it. In English, the word, the phrase Alhamdulillah means glory be to Allah. And yes, this board that you're seeing that I've written it on is not a canvas. This actually is a very, very old wedding invitation that I received and the back part of it was brown plain and unspoiled and immediately when I looked at it it looked like a canvas so I thought I thought like you know why not just paint on it so if you want to know how I created this beautiful piece make sure to watch this video all the way to the end now speaking of inspiration I also uh, ins got inspired from this beautiful picture which I based the entire painting from so first off I used a pencil a normal writing pencil and I wrote the entire phrase over the board off camera actually the phrase was you know not quite clearly seen so I decided to press harder because the background is quite dark so that I can just see the pencil where I've written and another thing I actually do suggest to use a pencil to sketch out your whatever your painting your drawing your calligraphy because you know it kind of gives you it almost like acts like a guideline to what you're doing so now that you've seen area seeing i've taken a dark green acrylic paint and using my thinnest brush i start filling in the letters and coloring it throughout another very very important reason why i chose the phrase alhamdulillah is because you know i've not updated since a month so yeah like we had ramadan in the middle of course so i really didn't want to you know distract myself and i wanted to just you know like focus on ibadah and all and i hope your ramadan as well went very nice so like do feel free to tell me in the comments down below how your ramadan went because yeah though it was you know lonely i'm grateful that i was able to fast and though the masjids weren't open we did have the beautiful chance to do tarawih in our house with our family so yeah this comes towards the reason why i chose alhamdulillah you see there's a lot of negativity around us lately you know like coronavirus has its second wave and it's so much more serious than the first one there are a lot more people dying and getting infected and you know being tested positive so like you know india is in like lockdown and we're not getting out of our houses and it's so lonely you know like even eid this year as usual like i mean as like the previous year we couldn't go to the masjid we couldn't really meet up with people you know it was you know just lonely and dull in a way but you know like at the same time in palestine it's so heartbreaking to know like you know there's war going on and a lot more people are dying at least i like like people are dying either way either through this disease or through this you know war or any type of oppression so you know for some reason i felt that see look at me i'm safe i am in my house no nothing's wrong with me i'm with my family i'm happy and everything is going so fine and you know like the only best thing i could do like as a muslim as a human is to be grateful for what i have you know like no one in my family is sick or affected by anything and i am like i have a house with like i'm living in a house safely like no disease has touched me alhamdulillah alhamdulillah or no form, form of physical oppression has come our, our way so the only way i could show gratitude is by saying alhamdulillah as much as i can so this led me to make this painting because for me art is my form of expression i like to convey through my art i like to say things through my art so now rather than actually making this as an art piece i wanted to you know express my gratitude through my art piece by just having that alhamdulillah and once i have it on my wall every single time i pass through i will be like see look at me i'm so blessed alhamdulillah you know glory be to allah of course you know like he's the god of all things and he's blessed us he's blessed me he's blessed you he's blessed each and every one of us he's not forgotten any of us so you know like what more can i want what more can i ask for right so yeah that was another reason why i actually chose alhamdulillah and you know what i would like i always pray inshallah by the grace of allah that everybody out there are safe may allah cure everyone who is sick and help those people in need like let us all be like happy and safe like and even if you are wherever you are living try to be as safe as you can guys like you know wear a mask 
practice social distancing i mean everybody says that now right it's so funny like i mean funny as in not funny funny like it's weird that like this has become our new normal masks are an everyday thing sanitizers are something like that we have to put every day you know like mask is our makeup and sanitizer is our perfume you know i mean is this is a weird comparison but it kind of helps us relate to how how we have to actually practice it on our daily life like really so i think i've spoken too much but i hope you can bear with me it's my first video with a voice over like a proper voice over so yeah i hope you guys actually like it and do let me know down in the comments below if you would like me to do more voice over videos where i can actually explain what i'm doing this part that you're seeing right now didn't need too much explanation it was simple i just you know painted over it and now if you can see i went on to grab another color that will be a yellow ochre after i finished touching up with this and yes now this yellow ochre that i just spoke about a little earlier i'm going to use it as a, an outline for the word because it, you can see the phrase is very dark and so is the background very dark and i needed something to break the contrast some bright color something that was on par with both the colors and if you could remember the reference picture i showed you it had this really golden uh the letters were written in a very golden ochre color and then the background was dark green so i just decided to inspire literally inspire from that picture and use those two colors in my painting as well so again using the same brush that i used to fill in the phrase i started to just you know slowly mark the outline to make it bold so that it can pop and you can actually read it see it and it also looks pretty and i also decided to dilute it a little bit because like you know like i have very shaky hands and i didn't want to mess up anyway so like because the what uh, like the paint is watered down it wouldn't dry as fast and if i did mess up i could just wipe it up clean there's a problem with acrylics you know like they dry super fast you just mix it up and then you turn around to grab something and you come and boom it's dry <laughs> yeah that's i mean it's funny but yeah you should you can easily find your way working around it and then even if you're a beginner honestly it's so easy to do calligraphy calligraphy is i think personally for me one of the most easiest things i never really went to art school i'm like i don't i i don't think art school is necessarily something you need to go to if you want to become an artist as i told you art is a form of expression you convey your emotions through colors you know like there's nothing called good art or bad art art is art you know like you should look at art more of like you know i don't know art can uh, i would phrase art as a way of life you know like a way of life as in like you know like trying to capture moments like you know a painting isn't a picture it's a moment in time it's a paused moment in time with every object you draw you're capturing as much detail of that moment as you can for me painting is so much more than just you know take your paint brushes take your colors like you know get the best picture out there for your reference and just paint it up no for me it's it's fine if it's just a simple background and a simple silhouette there or as you can see a simple as simple as a phrase is alhamdulillah here i mean honestly like that can make so much of a difference if you keep comparing yourself with other artists i think in the end you will always just simply happen to you know you you start demotivating your own self because i have experienced it as when i used to like when i started art like i think like 3 4 years ago i used to always compare with those people who are much better like the influencers that i followed on youtube i would compare myself with them and see like oh my god the, i just saw them do that i'm doing the same thing they are so good why is mine so bad it's not that thing you should compare your own self with the past and what you are like right now so if you've been painting for say 6 months grab the first painting you did and grab the painting that you did like 6 months later you definitely see a difference and you will feel proud and even those greatest of artists that you've seen right now they've been through the time like you too they have been through all those tedious moments when they had to really sit down and think about what they had to do they of course there are days you will have to tear your paintings and throw them away it's not a big deal like honestly like i'm not a great, i'm not a qualified artist i'm just i'm literally a high school student who's just painting for passion so you know for me there have been like so many occasions where i have this really amazing idea in mind and like oh my god i am going to paint this like dope like you know like i don't in i would have such a high expectation i would start painting and midway i'm like what on earth have i painted right now it looks so disgusting and then i would just start you know i'm not a good artist i'm not a good person i can't paint and i would just stare it up and through and then i would just like pass by through like you know my older paintings and i'll be like hey 
you do have talent it's not like you're bad try it once more if that is hard enough try something simpler so you know on the get go itself you're a really new person when it comes to any form of painting any form of like you know art try to go from the simple ways like as soon as you see an artist like drawing the most complicated scenery you you can't expect it to do it as well as them in the first go try to do simple things first if you want to draw a tree learn how to draw a leaf first if you want to know how to color a leaf first learn how to mix the colors first it's really simple you know like taking it step by step and then making your own way so now as you can see now that i've almost done making the outline it's quite light but then after a while i left it i left this entire painting to dry overnight and then i decided to go over with the second coat of this yellow ochre to make it more you know more vibrant and more thicker to make it a lot more prettier And then of course I went back to the painting and I saw like wherever the harakas were put and then I just slightly marked them with my pencil I did that off camera because I was like using the phone that I was having the picture in so I just put them light marks in pencil and then I used the same ochre color to you know go over the marks and yes after that actually I decided to darken those marks as well after those uh, marks entirely dried I mean literally I cannot tell you how much my hands are shaking when I did lines I, like you know drawing straight lines they look so easy but then like when you start painting them your hand just goes Zzz, and like you know you start shaking and but then it's like an experience it's really fun to do. like you know paint though your hands do go shaky like try to draw very thin lines because when you draw thin lines and you know there's a little crookedness you can go over that thin line and make it slightly more thicker and then you can fix it because when the outlines you're drawing are already too thick you know the dent is way more exposed than you'd expect it to be so um yeah The painting was still looking quite dull so I decided to go over with this glittered glue. I mean it has like not glitter I would say more sequin, sequined glue to give it a little bit more shine. So after applying the first coat of glitter, glittered slash sequined glue, this is how it looks like. You know it looks a lot better, it looks a lot more shinier and you know a lot more poppy. So I decided to again go over the outline and also you know like add the, that glitter glue over to the uh, frame on the side. Yes. And also this glue like I couldn't really apply it directly on top so I had to put it on a little bowl and you know use my paintbrush to guide it through. So yeah this is the final result and I think you already saw the same clip at the beginning of the video. So yes I hope you guys really enjoyed it and that whatever I said was you know like not offensive in any manner and also like you know it helped you as far as like educating how I made this painting and also what I felt like. And yeah, like I'm happy with the painting, honestly. As you can see, I made the paint, like made the outline a lot more thicker because, you know, I told you about my shaky hands. I had to go over and over and make it a little bit more thicker until I was satisfied. And I added like a lot of glittered glue, like until I was, I could literally see the reflection. So yeah, this is the painting. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. So please share, like, and comment, and subscribe to my channel if you want more of these videos. Jazakallah khair.